Well, many of us have been there. It's a holiday weekend. You're trying to get home from a party or a get together and you stumble on a DUI checkpoint. You may not be drunk, but you've stumbled on it. Well, there's a viral video out of Tennessee where a man gets stopped and he claims that the police officers overstepped their authority at the checkpoint and violated his rights. Take a look. How are you on the damn for me? Uh, this is fine, sir. Do what? This is fine. That's fine? Yes, sir. Why is that fine? Because I can hear you. How old are you? Uh, is that a required question to answer? Uh, yes, sir, it is. I'm 21. Stay right there for me. Yes, sir. Hey, you just pull right over the side, right there, right there. Am I being detained? Pull over to the side, right there. Am I being detained or pull am I Pull over to, go? to the side, right there. Okay, step on out. Am step I, out. So I'm being detained? Either pull over the other side, or you can step out right here. Put it in park, shut it down. Unlock your door. Sir, am I being detained? Unlock your door. All righty. Here to talk about is Jay Davis. So when I watched that video, I honestly was very surprised. Is the man in the driver's seat, is he correct about having to be told when he's being detained? He doesn't have to be told when he's being detained. Whether or not a police officer detains you is not up to what he says. He can say, I'm detaining you, or he can say, I'm not detaining you. If he's really detaining you, it doesn't matter that he says, no, you're not detained, stay right there. But something about that didn't feel right. What What's wrong with the video? There's a couple things that's wrong. First of all, the police officer through the video has lost his cool. He's, he's totally lost what he's doing. And he lost it early. He lost it early. He lost it early because his authority was challenged. And a lot of police officers don't like it, even when you assert a, a right that you're entitled to, such as your right to remain silent. Here the police officer said that it was an ob he was obligated to answer that question. He's, you're not obligated to answer any question uh, when you're stopped by the police officer. You have the right to remain silent mm -hmm. from the time that you're stopped forward. Now he would need to, uh, in Georgia, it's a little bit different, I'm not sure what Tennessee law is, but some states you're not required to show an ID or show your driver's license if there hasn't been some sort of incident, a traffic violation or something that you're stopped for, just being stopped. Well then it, he had the window cracked also and the officer tells him to roll it down more. Now the guy I think was being a little bit belligerent. To, the driver? To prove a point, the driver, yeah. Why, I mean, does he have to roll the window all the way down? I mean, He probably doesn't have to roll it all the way down. What the police officer should have tried to do is determine why he was um, refusing and ask him for what he needed is probably his driver's license and insurance card. Well, one of the things that's interesting is at the end of the video, they got the canines searching his car. Um, well, this is, where the de that? this is where the detaining could be a problem because somebody who's trying to assert their rights right here, like, like this guy was, I think he was trying to prove a point and assert the rights. But if you do that and then you become detained because of that, if they're like, okay, we, you're not giving us your driver's license fast enough. In Tennessee, if he didn't have to, he should have moved on. Once he was no longer um, deemed to be DUI, it was a DUI checkpoint. They should have been looking for DUI. They either had the authority to get the license or not. So in Georgia, if you give your license and move on, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But if they send you over so they can search your car, so the, so the dogs can come over, you're then being detained and they do not have the right to do that. Interesting. Well, at the end of the video, the cop tells him, that he's allowed to violate the man's rights if it has to do with uh, the Unfortunately, that, that's somewhat true in the United States today. We're losing a lot of our rights in the name of that, and there is a case that says that for these um, short stops right there, that a, a short loss of some of your rights has been, has been awarded as, as incidental, according to the Supreme Court. Interesting. Well, so those we will are continue on. to watch that, and you know, it's, it's true. You know, we got the NSA. You get a DUI, first thing like you that. say is, let me talk to my lawyer, and it's James W. Davis. James W. Davis. There you go. All right, keep that in mind, everybody. Well, if you have a legal question, feel free to send it to us. All you have to do is email itsthelaw at 41nbc.com. We'll answer it right here on the air. Thanks, Jay.